What is up everybody? It is Fitzmiller and Cinnamon and Rolls back here with another video. So today is the day that I get my wheels for the truck and the tires. I'm gonna get them on and it's gonna look awesome. That's gonna be later today. For now, it's super early and it's super cold. So I wanted to give you guys a sound clip of Cinnamon starting. Me and his sounding 325i in my opinion. Let's get it. Check out that fitment by the way, ooh. glass things or they're like decanters or something I don't I don't even know since I uh, haven't had a job here recently I've just been buying and reselling things around the house so anyways I'm gonna go do that right now and I'll catch up with you guys after that was easiest 20 bucks I've ever made that guy was really cool he actually had a blue s4 I think it was a b5 s4 with almost 300,000 miles on it. It looked great. Obviously kept care of it. That was that was really cool. So now it's 8.30 in the morning and I have nothing to do. I'm gonna see if some buddies wanna go get some breakfast. It is a school day and I graduated early and I need a monster. And then, I don't know, might play some Apex Legends. Find something to do. So you guys are coming with me. I did stuff to the truck last night. I'll go ahead and show you guys that right now. I, okay, that's weird, whatever. I painted these black to match the grill, which looks awesome. Did this one as well, and then I also did these little hood inserts. That's looking really good. So, my wheels, still not ready. It's it's 11 right now, I don't know if I told you guys that or not. It is freezing, freezing cold out here. I don't have anything else to do except just wait for the wheels. Next time I see you guys, we'll be heading over there. I just got off the phone with Econo Paint as well. I think that's who I'm gonna go with for paint. It's gonna be about 500 bucks. They said they would heavy sand the roof and then I think they said 240 grit for the rest of the car just to get it smooth. And outside, outside only, obviously not the door jam. It's nothing fancy. So that's the update for right now. See you guys when I'm picking up the wheels. Update, it is still raining and there's still a puddle in my truck bed. So we're gonna go ahead and take care of that right now. Uh, it's like two o'clock. The guys with the wheels were saying he would try to get it done by three. He said he would definitely have it done by the end of the day and they were super backed up. We're still getting the wheels today. Don't worry about it. But we're gonna take this bad boy out there, you know, and uh, one of these boys right here and fix our problem. So I got the truck on jack stands and the jack. It is 452, we can finally go pick up the wheels. Let's do it. I don't know why my tripod is so loose here. Hold on, hold, oh, that's loosening it, hold on. There, oh, all right, you ready for this? Oh, yo, look at that stretch. That is perfect. Got the wheels in here. I'm gonna head home and we're gonna toss them on. I've been waiting for this for so long. All right, I don't wanna die, so no more, no more recording. I'm home, finally. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up a time lapse for putting on the wheels right now. This is a Chucky Beat production. It's not in a row. You're still gonna <laughs> smash your frame, bro. 
No, it's actually the bump stop. It's pretty wide, dude. Whatever. I know, I think I'll have to roll them. All right, guys, back here with another video. I couldn't put my lug nuts on, so I called me. Wait, yeah, I called me. No, I, yeah, I know, it's I called like... Dawson. I actually couldn't put the lug nuts on. I don't know how that happened, but it happened, so. All right, so it took a minute. I actually did have Dawson help me figure out what was going on. They're not hub centric like on my car, so you have to wiggle it a little bit and the the socket was really big and it almost didn't fit anyways we got the wheels on and i came out to a gas station just to show you guys what we got and i'm super excited honestly i wish it was a little bit lower that's something we can take care of in the future but you ready for this ready for this here we go oh my goodness oh my goodness look at this look at this my little turd is cleaning up nice look at that fitment Ooh, I'm actually, I'm actually very excited with how this is turning out. Not bad, not bad for 800 bucks, not bad. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm either going to get flares and put them on before I get the truck painted, that way everything would be paint matched, or I'm gonna get drop spindles and redrill the back. But honestly, for now, for lowering it and getting it to look like this, super super excited so that's gonna be it for tonight i am i've been feeling better lately thankfully but yeah i'm like i'm actually liking driving this thing it makes me one appreciate my car a whole lot more but again i'm thankful to have both at the end of the day so this has been fitz miller and rolls back here with another video if you guys are excited to finally see this thing on wheels and lowered give me a thumbs up subscribe comment so anyways see you guys in the next one